What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing something from a company in the UK called Savi. Now I might have butchered their name, but whenever you go on their website, they have a ton of great products for collectors, and there's a lot of great stuff, everything from Marvel collectibles and figures, all the way to TV shows, series, and movies as well. So a lot of great stuff on their site, and I definitely plan on ordering again in the future, but one thing that I've seen that does interest me that they do sell is mystery boxes. You guys know I absolutely love unboxing mystery boxes and I love getting them because it helps me grow my collection and they're just a lot of fun to begin with and they do have a ton of them. So you guys know that I do love unboxing and I love collecting Marvel so I did order two Marvel mystery boxes but they have a whole bunch of different stuff for their mystery boxes. A huge selection, everything from Marvel, DC, all the way to different TV shows and movies different mystery boxes for that and even generic ones as well that could have literally anything that they do sell, figures, books, different things like that inside those mystery boxes. So I did get two. One of them is a $35 mystery box that should have four items in it. That's what we're going to be unboxing today. The other one, which I have yet to see arrive, is a $55 one that should have five items inside. That one there, I'm wondering if I am going to actually receive it because I did have to reach out to the company because this one arrived a couple weeks ago. Both were ordered at the same time, no tracking, and I only got one of the two mystery boxes so far. So hopefully they can figure it out and hopefully I do receive one for the other one that has not yet arrived so I can at least open it up on the channel and share that with you guys. But we're just going to be opening up the one that did arrive today, the $35 box. And it was really cool. So this is the company here, but if you guys look, I don't know if they do sell other stuff, but it does say about vitamins and different things. So I don't know if that is to deter porch pirates from coming and stealing the package. If they think it's um, beauty supplies on one side, it says beauty supplies on the other side, it says protein and vitamins. I'm not sure if that is a marketing gimmick for their boxes so people don't know what's inside or if they just have other things outside the company that they do sell as well. So I thought that was really cool. I'm just going to open it up on the side here and share everything that I do get. I'm going to see, I'm going to start off uh, with two books or graphic novels. I'm not sure what they are, but that is the easiest thing to get to here. One of them is huge, so this is going to be really cool. Uh, the first one here is uh, War Zones, Captain Marvel, and the uh, Carol Corpse. This graphic novel here, you guys know, recently I've been getting more into comics and graphic novels, bringing that aspect onto the channel as well. That's why I love doing these mystery boxes, because I do get some really cool stuff. Captain Marvel is a very interesting character. I don't have anything Captain Marvel, but this is very, very cool as well. I do like the artwork, but it is kind of a little too new for me. Usually I gravitate more towards the 80s and 90s. Recently it's been a lot more of the 90s stuff, which is stuff I didn't think I would collect, but I've been absolutely loving the stuff I've been getting from the 90s, so... We'll see. I definitely want to read it, check it out, and see if I want to keep it. But then there is this massive book, The Ultimates, number two for Marvel, right here. And the artwork looks amazing. It has Captain America and a whole bunch of other heroes right behind him. That does look very cool. On the back, you have the shield, uh, and it looks like Thor as well. I'm not sure who the other one is here, but this is a thick book. That is really cool. So it is the Ultimates 2 Ultimate Collection. Um, I'm assuming this is a lot of money. This is a $40 book normally and I paid $35 for everything that is inside this mystery box. So this is typically a $40 book Canadian. That is crazy. So I'm already making back the money if I were to sell anything. Definitely want to check that out because I do love Marvel sub, uh, stuff and I do like Captain America and different things like that. So I might have to find a spot for that for sure on my shelf, but I definitely want to read it first and check it out. Now we're going to get into, I think there's supposed to be two figures as well. Um, one of them looks like it's a big figure, so I definitely have to try to find a spot on my Marvel shelf and see where I want to place it, but I'm just going to go with the smaller one first and see what it is. And... That looks incredible. Check this out. It is a Drax figure. That is really cool. Uh, what year is this? 2015 Marvel. That is really, really cool. 
I could tell from the artwork. Um, it has Rocket Raccoon. It looks like Star Lord has all of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters on it. You guys know I absolutely love the Guardians of the Galaxy. Right now I'm on the hunt for the final few books for the, I think it's the second volume, the uh, comic run for the 90s. I'm missing a few to end that series. I think it only went to 62 or 63, something like that. So I'm only missing a few. So I'm definitely on the hunt for that. But this is an amazing figure. Look at the detail on that. That just looks really cool. And he has his swords out. That is really cool. I absolutely love this. This is definitely going on display, but I might leave it in the box. I'm not 100% sure. That does take up a lot more space. Um, and it doesn't say anything about Drax on the actual box. So I don't know. I might decide on that. But comment down below what you guys think. Should I leave this in the box or should I open it up and put it on display, which might be easier and take up less space? But the artwork in the box does look really cool. And there's one more figure that I can already tell it is likely to be something Guardians of the Galaxy because it is the same blue of the other box. So I'm assuming it's going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy figure. And I'm not even going to look at it first. I'm just going to hold it up to the camera and see it. Ooh, that's really cool. I am Groot. You guys know I love Groot. Um, obviously, it's not the baby Groot. I actually prefer... Um, I actually prefer the full size Groot as opposed to the baby Groot. Yes, baby Groot it was really comical and really cute in the movies aspect, but I do like just the regular standard Groot, and this figure does look amazing. Uh, so again, this is 2015 Marvel. I might have to go and try to find the complete Guardians of the Galaxy set if they do make all of at least the main characters, but that is really, really, really cool. Definitely something that I have never seen before in person going into comic shops and other collectible places around me. I haven't seen this before, but this is official Marvel, so I'm not sure what these figures typically run, um, what they are usually worth. But I'm definitely going to be on the hunt for these in the future. That is really, really cool. And I'm really, really excited for these. And to at least find a spot on my shelf. And also look for the other figures if there are other ones. I'm assuming there are. They're not going to make just Drax and Groot. I'm hoping to find a Rocket Raccoon. And all of the cast of the main cast, at least, for Guardians of the Galaxy. That'd be really cool. But look at the details on Groot. That is amazing. That is amazing. Now, the one thing I wish, they all have their own individual stands, it looks like, but it doesn't say Groot and Drax on it. It just says Marvel, which is still cool, and obviously we know who the characters are. I just wish either A, the box said Groot, at least the character, or at least the stand did. That'd be something a little extra. But this box actually has a little slight damage here, and this box is way bigger than the last one. So. Personally, I don't know if I'm going to keep it in the box or if I'm going to take it out. I honestly think I might take them out. I think that'd look way better for a display purpose, but also the background does show off Groot a lot more in this one, and the shelves that I do have are black wood, so I'm going to have to think about that, but definitely this, work, this mystery box was way worth it. It only cost me $35 Canadian and only $3 for shipping from the UK to Canada is an amazing price for shipping to begin with for literally anything. But to have this big sized box shipped with two books, one book is a $40 book. The other one, I actually didn't check uh, to see if it has a price on it. Um, this is a $20 book. So that right there is $60 in value. And then we also have to take into account the two figures, which I don't know what they are. I'm assuming they're 20 to $25 each. This was definitely an amazing box. It got great value and I'm definitely hoping to receive the $55 mystery box. And I'm hoping to get some more figures and finish off the set for Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously, but to see what else I might get from them. So hopefully if I remember, I'll leave them linked down below so you guys can check out this company as well. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.